In this video, I am going to show you how you can locally install this brand new model from Microsoft Research which is called as Fi2. Microsoft has unveiled this Fi2 model which is a 2.7 billion parameter language model as the latest addition to their Fi family. The model size is smaller but still Fi2 competes with larger models like Mistral 7B and Llama 2 7 billion. Like its predecessors, Fi 1.5, Fi 2 was trained on textbook quality real and synthetic data. Fi 2 was built by embedding the knowledge of 1.3 billion Fi 1.5 through a technique called as scaled knowledge transfer. At just 2.7 billion, Fi 2 outperformed 7 billion and 13 billion Mistral and Llama 2 models on composite benchmarks and even beats the Llama to 70 billion on complex reasoning tasks. And moreover, the model also shows improved handling of toxicity and bias without explicit reinforcement learning from human feedback. Fi2 success underscores the promise of training LLMs on textbook quality data and demonstrates the utility of high quality synthetic data in LLM training pipelines. For me, the most salient feature of this model is that it has beaten Mistral 7 billion, which is huge because I have been using Mistral 7 billion in a lot of use cases and I can verify that it is one of the best models out there in open source. So Fi2 beating Mistral 7B, it really means something. Okay, enough praises of Fi2. Let's see how you can install it locally on your Windows system. I'm already logged into my Windows system. The tool which I'm going to use in order to install it is called as LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is and how to use it, I will drop a link to another video which you can follow along to see how it works. Now, in order to use the model, start your LM Studio and then in this text box, just type Fi2. And then you see that we have different quantized version of Fi2 here from Bloke, from Krunen and a few others. I'll go with the Bloke's one. And then on the right hand side, you can see different quantization levels. I normally prefer to go with Q5KS because that offers a good balance. And in this case, I have gone with Q5. As you can see, I just clicked on download and it has downloaded. And look at the size, just 1.93 gig. Okay, that's done. Now, in order to use this model, all you need to do is to go on the left hand side, click on this chat icon or three dots, just dismiss it, and then just drag this section up it so that we could talk with the model. Now, in the middle, select the model to load and select the file to. It says the configuration being applied file to contain a different system prompt than your current one. So, I'll just say accept a new system prompt. Model is loading. Okay, that's done. Before I start using the model, let's set up system prompt on the right hand side. And normally with five models, we use this uh, system prompt that you are a story writing assistant. Okay. And it says that when the prompt is protected, you will get a confirmation dialog before it gets overridden by a new preset. Okay, so it's also uh, protected but that is fine let's use it I'm just going to ask it um, tell me a, a story about K2 expedition let's see I'm hoping that this it will be able to detect or uh, tell us what K2 is which is a mountain um, world second highest peak in the world in Pakistan so let's see if it is able to tell us that and then maybe uh, the story around it. Let's wait for it to come back. So you can see that it has started producing some of the you know, facts about K2 and then writing the story about Hamish and Andrew, two experienced climbers and then this is amazing. I mean, not only it is knitting together all the facts, but also um, he is putting all the stuff around climb and how smoothly it is going. And just to uh, let you know that I'm using my own laptop with it and this is 
it has one gpu of 16 gp of ram okay that's it so amazing i mean i'm very impressed by the quality of the response as you can see here okay let's try out another one um I'll, i'm just going to ask it how to or maybe i'll just go with some of the um australian stuff write me uh an indigenous okay my spellings are horrible indigenous story of australian outback let's see and look at the speed of it then friends i just pressed enter and it has started producing it and then you know it has it is talking about the indigenous tribe amazing amazing stuff look at the quality of the response i was just i was just lost in reading the story very very interesting one so you can see the quality of the response is very very impressive um, and i hope that you enjoyed it too please play around with it i think one of the best models out there now i'm worried about mistral but i think this one should be good too so good to see that there is no monopoly more and more options are popping up which is quite exhilarating and quite uh, concerning too at the same time. But anyway, um, I hope that you like the content. If you have any questions or if you are stuck anywhere, let me know and I'll be happy to help. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.